Torture Talk, what's up? Slugger Nooch. Yeah, you know what, man, you know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Alright, man, today we got some good shit. I don't know who this brother is. I don't know who the fuck this brother is, but. but he's speaking some shit. And we gonna play this shit. Yeah, let, let me hear that shit, man. Oh, man, let me hey, go. Hey, for everybody. Alright, alright, don't punch your finger at me. What's going on? Okay, you're not speaking to me how I want to be spoken to, so I'm just peace. Well, they gonna stop, stop, ass, stop requesting the fucking room, man. Yo, these women out here need to be in line, bro. Stop dealing with these women that ain't got no respect for your manhood, bro. A woman needs to be dominated at all times. She want to be dominated at all times, homie. Let me tell you something, bro. Stop dealing with these women that won't let you dominate them, man. It ain't even about that. A woman, she want a man, homie. Fuck one with you. You on the pill with me. You ain't running nothing over here but your mouth, shorty. <laughs> Fuck out of here. We need our woman feminine. Divine feminine. Soft-spoken. Feminine, nigga. We don't need no hard woman trying to argue with me. I ain't trying to argue with you, nigga. I'm a man. You be a woman. You know what I'm saying? You can say I'm abusive, but what the police do when they run up and you just you and you disregard the police. You saying I'm that, right? It's another man that run your life. Let the police come up. What you do? Respect, nigga. And if you disrespect the police, what they gonna do? Law and order, nigga. Natural law and order. We men in nature, nigga. We ain't under their jurisdiction. We under a different jurisdiction around here, homie. You a mob shit right now. I hate women. Fucking crazy, nigga. Love women. I love women, nigga. That's right. Speak so I can dig, I can block your ass, nigga. Get you, get rid of you fake niggas. I need more of the fake niggas out there to say something. Say something so I can block you. The more, the more you say stuff, I can block you. Good. I need it. Clean the clean house as we came to do. Fuck out of here. I hate women that think they men. I came from a woman. I came from a man and woman, nigga. What the fuck is you talking about, you idiot? You see what I'm saying? Oh, the police have guns. We respect guns. Oh, the police, not, not because it's a man and that's your man and you need him. You ain't gonna respect him because you need him. You gonna disrespect the black man because you think you don't need me? Fuck out of here. I don't wanna talk to you. You ain't no real woman. You the enemy. That's right. You the enemy. You an enemy. You not, you not, you ain't, you ain't full men. Men supposed to be masculine. You trying to kill masculine energy. You want us to be around. And then when we feminine, then you like, oh, y'all feminine. But when we be a masculine, you like, oh, y'all trying to disrespect women. Then shut the fuck up. Shut the I'm fuck man. Up. If you accept it or not, fuck out of here, nigga. I'm a man. A woman supposed to appeal to your manhood is supposed to calm you down, homie. You understand? A woman coming to you with, with masculine energy? Yeah, no, don't, don't ever fall for no woman, homie. That's for those are the kind of women that have been genetically modified to make you a bitch ass nigga. That's why men go to jail like me. We can, we be in jail for, for assault charges, Ooh. smacking the motherfucker in the face. Yo, that's... Fuck out of here. Because real men ain't having it. In nature, it ain't happening. Cut it the fuck out, man. Oh, man. That's yeah, the that, greatest that, that, guy ever. Who shit. is this guy? Who is this guy? I have no idea. That shit was epic, though. We need to find this guy, bro. He's he's about to start the revolution yeah, for for, it's, for masculine men. Man. First of all, how he curved the bitch in yeah. the beginning. He was like, "What do you say?" <laughs> now see, see, this is my problem I have with, with women, especially black women. Man. He didn't say anything wrong. He just said straight up, Stop "Don't point bitch. your finger at me." What's up? And she said, "I don't like. I don't like how you talking to me." So I'm gonna get. Don't see this is what I'm talking about, yo. <laughs> and that's my issue that I have with women. Yeah. He ain't say nothing wrong. He just said, "Don't point your finger at right. me." I don't like your tone. What? And this is what he's talking about. That's what he's talking about. But see, you gotta understand something, right? Black women. I ain't gotta understand nothing, nigga. All right. <laughs> Uh, no, women have, a, especially black women, for some reason, they have a nature of wanting to be in control. And I don't know if that was from slavery times where they kind of had to be because of how the man was took it out of the family most of the time, or whether it was, you know, just recent generations where men going to jail. But whatever the case may be, women been throwing these positions where they had to kind of be in control well, well, so now they're they they can not get out of that so with that being said 
when they see a a man kind of boisterous or whatever they have you, they're really intimidated by that because they're usually mostly around. See, women like that, they can't take boisterous men. It, and like there's that. no such thing as boisterous, man. What are you talking about? The word called boisterous. All right, boisterous or whatever. Like, uh, what's the word I'm trying to use? Um, you say opinionated. Not opinionated, <laughs> but I'm like, not, like how vocal, he was. Very vocal, vocal, very vocal, very vocal, very like in your face. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They feel as though that's like confrontational almost. But it's not. He was just trying to explain. I mean, no. I get. I'm going to put it to you like this. A lot of reasons why women are the way they are today because of men. Because of men. Because right. men did a lot of fuck shit to women. Okay. This had nothing to do with black or white. Men did a lot of fuck shit. And to this day, they're still doing a lot of fuck shit. So, women feel as though that they have to, you know, they have to get their revenge or they have to get one of... That's why women always feel like, and it, it, when you come across women, they always feel like they have to have a one-up on you. Yeah. But I'm saying black women because of the single parentness. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, but that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Like we talking about, like I get I get what you're saying. You saying that all single all single parents or single black women, right. they become the they become the man and, and the woman. woman. Yeah, so that's you know where their masculine energy coming from. But here's my thing. That's a diff. It's it, it's still you still have to learn how to be a woman right. when it comes down to it. Or you have to be a woman when it comes down to it. Like, just because you raised a child or raised a child by yourself doesn't mean that you have to be um, masculine to men. Maybe to your children. But when it comes to a man, you gotta, you got to know when to turn it on and off. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of women, they don't know how to turn it off. They just think that because society has offered what the bullshit men did to women, society has gave them an abundance of of perks and, and different things that soothed them and that made them feel like they're in control. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It could, the, from the child support down to uh, the court system, everything. Right. Even even the feelings and the emotions. It's like when you, if a man cries or if something happens to a man, we a man, we're supposed to deal with it. We don't, we don't supposed to have emotions and feelings. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's different with women. Yeah. Women get pity on a lot of different things. Even when it comes down to... um. Um, child child molestation or or um or anything anything that has something to do with if it's a man and a, a man does it yeah. and a woman does it usually uh -huh. women get a lesser sentence or a lesser something for it. Right. You know what I'm saying now when he's trying that dude with the dude is saying is he don't he's not gonna let no woman dictate what's going on with him. That's all he's saying. He's saying he want a feminine woman. He ain't saying that. He ain't saying he's abusive. He ain't saying he just saying like you ain't gonna tell me. You ain't gonna take the um the masculine you know take my manhood or whatever from me. Yeah, but see the thing about it is because I was even seeing in the comments like what, well when he was talking in the video I guess he did it on a live or whatever. Yeah. So you, I was even I was paying attention to people who was saying in the comments. You seen from a lot of women they was like oh why are you so mad. Why are you so mad? Why does when a black man says a point, but he's real like into what his point? Why does he have to be mad about something? Why can't he just be explaining his point? Like to me, it's he's explaining his point. He wasn't mad. Just like the lady. Oh, I don't like how you talking to me. It's like y'all don't want us to be like opinionated. Y'all don't want us to really state our opinion and show be proud of who we are. Kind of. You kind of want us to be like catering to you. And that's the whole thing about me with women being entitled. Like, y'all women really are entitled and y'all feel like everything's around about y'all. Like, no. Like, no. Why don't you act like a woman, first of all, and stop trying to be all like argumentative all the time and thinking you right and everything else. And why don't you play your part? And that's what I got from what he's saying. But I... But the only thing I'm scrape I have with him in this video is, do you do you have to be that uh, upfront or that vocal or that yes uh, yes, yes to get yes, your you point do. across? Yes, you Can you look, still look, be manly look. without saying it's kind of? I'll, I'll prove I'll prove you, you like this. Yes, you do have to be like that okay. because if he didn't do that, if he didn't make that statement the way he made it, right. nobody would have shared it. Nobody would have cared. 
No, nah, you're right. He took the respect and he made people listen to him. Now, do I agree with everything he said? Nah. I don't agree with everything he said. Especially I agree with 98% domestic... of what he said. I don't but I don't know agree with everything. Violent, like, uh, smacking bitches. I think he, I think he just that. used, I think he just said that as a talking point. I don't no, think he, no, I don't no, think, no. I don't think, again, see, look, and this is what I mean. Like, you see how because he, because he was very vocal, you, see, you make it seem like me go to jail for smacking. But look, look, but this is again, again, this is this is what make this is exactly what I'm talking about. Right. About how they made they making us believe that us I'm not saying that hitting women is the thing. No, I'm not saying that. But he basically saying like you're not gonna tell me. You know what I'm saying? You know how niggas say, like, if a, nigga, if a girl cheated on me, like, man, I choke the shit out that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Right. It doesn't mean you really gonna do it. Right, right. It just, you just talking shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I think that at this point, because he was so vocal, you believe, and even some parts of me, believe that he really would do it. But. He kinda looked like he was a nigga that would smack a bitch, though. I'm just saying. That go, it goes back to what I'm, it goes back to what I'm saying about how they trying to make, how, how they trying to take our masculinity. You see how he? You see how we agreeing with that? What if he's really not like that? What if he? No, nah, I mean, I, I'm just, I'm just saying, like that's how it sounds. It kind of sounded. That's the only part I was like, oh, hold on, what? Yeah. But I was like, I'm feeling everything else he's saying because I feel like, yeah, like a lot of these women are trying to demasculate the yo. All right, when you see some of these women, right, and they have these guys, right that live with them or whatever the case, they live with them and they go out to work and this nigga just staying at home playing video games all day. She's going, she has, to me, she has the right to talk crazy to you because you're not putting in your manlyhood. She owns the crib. She is her apartment. You putting all your chips into that well, she could just be like, get tired of you, and just have another nigga sleep on the couch. But look, what's the look, difference? Uh, what are you? I'm, you're I'm not explaining to you why a woman should never do that. But they do all the time. They should never do that. If you got a lazy nigga, that's your fault. That's your, fault, your fault. fault. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about. I'm talking about if if your man loses his job. That's one thing. You can't be kicking him while he's down. You know what I'm saying? You can't be talking shit to him while he's down. Right. Because look, I'm I'm putting it to you like this. I don't know if you watch Insecure. You ever watch Insecure? Yeah, I've seen this. Alright, so you watch Insecure. You see when Lawrence, what happened with Lawrence? When Lawrence um didn't have a job, he was always home playing video games or whatever. Right. And she went out and did what? She cheated on him, did all this other extra shit. Yeah. Because she's a to and she her felt head, justified. She felt like yeah. And then what happened? He ended up getting a great job and all that shit. Right. That's what happens. Yep. Like for some people, what happens? And he wasn't even that he was. It wasn't even that he was this bum nigga. It was just the fact that he just was. He was trying to pursue his dream. Right. You know what I'm saying? See, women don't got time. I'm gonna tell y'all niggas this right now. The modern day woman today, she ain't, she ain't got time for your dreams, bro. Nope. She don't. You you better off doing it on your own. She don't have time for your dreams. Right. You know what I'm saying? She ain't going. She ain't going. She ain't going to support you. Uh, for for, for, for long, she ain't gonna support you until that shit st until that shit start popping off. Yeah, well, they, they they need to see proof. So, and I'm not saying this to disrespect women. I'm saying women don't have time for that. What they're gonna do is they're going to get you the fuck out of here. You know but that same nigga will support your motherfucking ass when you gotta go to fucking nursing school and all this other but shit. But look, Coley. When that's you was raggedy as hell, wearing motherfucking that's uh, different. That's King different. Swisses and shit. That's I, different. Fuck out of here. That's different. Because that's guaranteed. That's different. If you say now, nah, if you say she if she's inspired an inspired video gamer and she wants to be a video gamer, that's different. Right. But she's going to nursing school. I can understand. Yeah, like like what the, the argument is kinda it's kinda fish it's kinda weird because Usually women pick stuff where they know they have security and it's guaranteed. We pick stuff that we taking a chance because we, we're not saying women don't do that, but we taking a chance at life to try to do something greater than what we doing. See, right. women, what they do is they take a chance at something and they know that 
it's going to most likely pay off as long as they stick to it. But see, the funny thing is, right, they take your chances at love. Where they feel like, well, maybe this nigga will change. They take chances with love, but, but niggas take chances with life. And then they don't take chances with love. Like, we get guaranteed bets when it's yeah. going to that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. it's like, somebody said this before. I don't know where I got this from. But he's like, a man love his life. A, li a woman's life is love. Get what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, okay. You know what I mean? Like, but then you get mad when that chance, well, whoever you took a chance with doesn't pan out how you see it. So, now you want to degrade him. And all that shit, and niggas just sit there and take it because they feel like they down in the dump, and they not they not honest. where they feel like they need to let's be, be in life. Let's be honest. But as a dude is right, niggas are bitch ass niggas. Facts. Niggas are pussies. Facts. When it comes to women, niggas are punks. Right. They don't take. They don't be real with them. They don't tell them how they really feel. They just say whatever. Facts. See, my thing is my the, the reason why I don't fuck with niggas. You know what I'm saying? And I hate niggas. It's because niggas fuck shit up for me, for people like me. You know what I'm saying? I figure. Because they do. Because they lie to these women. They tell them. They tell them whatever. They have all these kids with these women, promising them the world, and they don't get them shit. And they don't do shit. And they end up being deadbeats and all this shit. And I gotta deal with that. Not now, but How before. Fuck you gotta deal with it? Because when you dating a woman, you ain't gotta date these bitches with yeah. no kids. Listen, it ain't got nothing to do with kids. I'm saying the mentality. I'm just saying. The mentality. Niggas fuck up bitches' mentalities, bro. That's what I'm talking about. They do. Niggas fuck bitches up. So you a bitch could just judge me off of whatever Duh, other nigga I'm, that I'm she talking that about. No, that she ain't judging me. I'm saying you going into it, you got to deal with her damaged bullshit. Goods. You got to yeah, deal with damaged exactly. goods already. That's what I'm talking about. You got to deal with the bullshit from her because of what niggas did or what niggas said or what this nigga said, what right. that nigga said. Now, not, now, no granted, now, every nigga ain't a bad nigga. Mm. I mean, every, every guy ain't a bad nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> and what I mean by that is, there's some bitches, there, there's a lot of hoes and a lot of bitches that just do devious shit. Right. That's just the bottom line. A bitch can't okay. get her way. So, so, it so niggas that turn her into this argumentative bitch where she's just showing all types of, uh, she thinks she the fucking man and it deter turn her away from her being a soft smoking woman. That's what you're saying? I'm saying that. Because that's crazy. I'm saying that most, most, most women... Not most. A, a good percentage of women right. are fucked up, and they feel as though that you have to apologize to them right. for something you didn't do. Yeah. And they always compare you, even though they never say it. They, some compare, of them, they, they compare, always compare, compare the ex. ex. Always. Oh, he's like my ex. From the door, anything that compared her to your ex is you compare it to your ex. Like, bitch, I'm not your ex. But they. But here's the thing. Women are a product of they, what they know. So if, yeah, if right, the, right, right. I'm gonna give you a perfect example, per very, very perfect example. I was with a girl. Okay. For. Let me, this just not flashing. I was with a girl for six years. Right. We was together for six years. And she told me the relationship was good. When I tell you the sex was good, everything was good. She told me straight up out her own mouth that the reason why she wasn't happy is because I wasn't verbally abusive to her. And I wasn't crazy. mild physically abusive to her. And, I, it, it, and this is real shit. She said, my ex, my ex boyfriend, whenever I, I, he, I did something he didn't like, he didn't beat on me. He just ripped me up, and I like that. That's what she said out of her own mouth. So, this is what I mean. She's crazy. It's not that she's crazy. No, that's crazy. No, no, really. no. She likes. She likes. Listen, drop, she no. likes. She's damaged. No, it's not that she's crazy. That's damaged. I don't, no, I don't. I don't believe that. That. She, why? No. Why won't you believe it? Because I think that some people just. They just like that type of behavior. So a person that doesn't on, mean on, on, on. that doesn't mean that she's crazy. She yeah, just likes does. a guy that's argumentative. Doesn't mean she's crazy. She likes a guy that argument. She likes dysfunction. Yeah, that doesn't mean so. Her if crazy. a person like, that doesn't make her crazy, she just huh? likes it. When you just like something or you like something, you like dysfunction. To be dysfunction. All right, so okay, boom. Say if I told you, yo, 
Yo, I fucks with you, Reese, but all my boys and shit, you know what I mean? They gang bangers and shit, and they used to mug. We always fight. So, you know, like, I want to be cool with you, but we got to at least fight, like, once every That's time. not the same I, thing. It is! You won't no, think about it. I'm saying, no, I'm saying, that's crazy. not the same thing. I'm saying, this is what I'm saying. People are attracted to what they're attracted to and what they like. So, if she likes a, a person, if she gets into a relationship, she was in a normal relationship. Right. What we would call normal. Yes. She's in a normal relationship. She don't like. She wasn't friends. happy. That doesn't make her crazy. It's just that's. What, if I talked to her and told you, I only like dark skinned women. Does that make me crazy? Come on, that's a total. I'm asking you. Does it make me crazy? No. no. If I told you I only like dark skinned women, no, I only totally like dark skinned women that um that like to argue. Does that make me crazy? Kind of. How? But I only like, like dark skinned women that like to argue. To argue though. To argue though. So you I, I only like dark skinned women that like to debate. I mean that's different. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. So she said if she telling me straight up that she only likes men that are uh aggressive. Right. So in some ways. I can't say she's crazy for that. I feel you. My whole thing is just about what my man was saying though. Like, whatever the situation, whatever you went through in the past, that should not take away from your femininity. Like, you yeah. should you should know, okay, this is not right for me to uh, be as a woman. I, you I, trying to I, swing I on a nigga that. or trying to be I all, just, I oh, fuck all that. that. You that. should know as a I woman. I disagree with that. You should know that's not woman like. I just okay? with that. Motherfucking trying to fucking hit niggas with cars you can't and all tell, this crazy bro, shit. Listen, bro, you can't <laughs> tell a woman. You just like a woman they can't should tell you you should know how to be a man. You can't tell them how they should know how to be a woman. Uh, I'm saying, look, this is what I'm saying. I'm saying some people don't know no better, bro. That's just that. They don't. I'm not saying I disagree with the dude, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying some women just don't know how to be a woman. And I, I'm thinking, be around I'm thinking that the no, guys no. talking about women that are that know how to be women and that's that's trying to be masculine. That's what he's talking about. I'm talking about something totally different. I'm talking about people. I'm talking about these these new age girls who don't know how to cook, who don't know how to um, cater to a man, who don't know none of this. So Does that what he's saying, from mother that they, they haven't taught them shit. Even that's that, that he can't even say that either, bro. Who because their mother, they probably they can't say that because their mom probably was trying to teach them and they wasn't listening. Like you can't say that. You can't say they that. wasn't listening though. Yes, nigga. They go you, by experience. Bro, if they mom, listen, no, bro, if they mom not, know how to cook and no, she can no, cooking, no, no, no. You, you, how many times you been in the kitchen? You what had to say, mom, that? no, teach me how to do about? this. No, no, you can't put that on people. No, some people are just bad people. That's just that. Like some women, some women are just. What you want me to say? Like some women, some women are bad women. Some women did teach their daughters, and their daughters didn't want to listen. Some women, oh, I mean, that's yeah, that's yeah, what you're that's saying. all I'm saying. But I agree with the dude. We about to get out of here, John. I agree with the dude. I think that um, what he's saying, we need more men like that. I do. I men need that. to be more dominant. I do think that. I think they need to be, as far as the relationships is concerned, they do need to be the head. But you know, it's ways to go about that. I, I just felt like he came about it a little bit too. No, man. He, uh, did, it. he did it the right way. But He did it the right way. For for this conversation, he did he it, did it the, the right way. way. Fuck yeah. all that. Oh, I, I think he was a little bit. He did it the right way. Because when bitches come at niggas, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't sugarcoat or candy coat shit. He did it the right way. He ain't call nobody. He ain't, he ain't disrespect nobody. He did it the right way. Congratulations. So shut the fuck up, boomy. Congratulations. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Good shit, man. Whoever that dude is, I need to follow him on Facebook because that shit was epic and it's entertaining. <laughs> Dead ass.